that I'm taking my shirt off and I'm jumping out of that suite. And she said, Jason, right. she said, Jason, don't you dare. There are friendship bracelets. And I received a bunch of them being there, but I wanted to give Taylor Swift one with my number on it. I mean, the only thing we've talked about is as long as we're happy, we can't listen to anything that's outside noise. Part of the Jason Kelsey chart. I want to make my best first impression. <laughs> How I live my, my off-field life uh, definitely helps helps out, but um, uh, yeah. You Instagram stalked her, and then she DM'd you. That's exactly what Very happened. Very strategic. Yeah. I mean, obviously, yeah. I mean, I, I'd be silly to say that I didn't notice it go up. Um, I think the Super Bowl helped that, and obviously. Travis Kelsey addresses fan attack. All right, picture this. Travis Kelsey, the Kansas City Chiefs tight end, is not one to shy away from speaking his mind, and recently he had a lot to say about some unruly fans. So there they are at a nail-biting NFL match against the Buffalo Bills, and things get a bit out of hand. In a recent episode of his podcast, Travis spills the tea about the crazy hate directed at his superstar girlfriend, Taylor Swift, and his buddy Patrick Mahomes. The atmosphere was electric, but it seems some fans took it a bit too far. Travis doesn't spill all the details because, you know, he's not here to give those haters the attention they crave. Now don't get him wrong, Kelsey knows that games can get rowdy, especially when you're invading the opponent's turf. But this time, it was different. It wasn't just a friendly exchange of banter, it was downright disrespectful, with some comments crossing the line of appropriateness. What makes this even more interesting is that Travis Kelsey spills the beans on his podcast, and guess who's joining the conversation? None other than his brother, Jason Kelsey, who plays for the Philadelphia Eagles. It's like a family pow-wow, where they're dishing out the real talk. Despite the craziness, what shines through is the love Travis has for Chiefs fans. Yep, you heard it right. He's frustrated, sure, but he doesn't want to let a few bad apples spoil the bunch. Travis takes a moment to emphasize the bond between the Chiefs and their fans, even in the face of some rowdy behavior. So, there you have it. Travis Kelsey, defender of Swift and Mahomes, speaking up against the haters while keeping it real with his Chiefs family. It's a wild ride in the world of NFL drama, and Travis is here to make sure you all get the inside scoop. I'm taking my shirt off and I'm jumping out of that suite. And she said, Jason... She said, Jason, don't you dare. There are friendship bracelets, and I received a bunch of them being there, but I wanted to give Taylor Swift one with my number on it. I'm lying to you all. I'm lying. I'm kidding. <laughs> Winning the Super Bowl was way better. I mean, the only thing we've talked about is as long as we're happy, we can't listen to anything that's outside noise. Uh, she doesn't talk before or after her shows because oh. she has to save her voice for the 44 songs that she sings. SNL After Party Snub. Travis Kelsey, the guy who rocked the SNL stage in 2023, is all set to let loose at the after party. But hold up, he gets hit with a curveball. Denied entry. Yup, you read that right. Despite being the life of the SNL party just a year later, the bouncer at the after party gives him the sorry not on the list treatment. Classic mix up or just one of those bizarre moments, you decide. Now here comes the hero of our story, Punky Johnson the SNL cast member, swoops in like a comedic superhero to save the day. Picture it, Kelsey standing there, scratching his head, and then bam, Punky appears, cape and all, sorting out the mess. She spills the beans on the hilarious situation, and suddenly, it's a scene straight out of a comedy flick. What makes it even more epic is that this isn't just a case of mistaken identity. Kelsey is the real deal. He hosted SNL for crying out loud. Punky Johnson, being the MVP, steps in to vouch for him, probably thinking, do you know who this guy is? He's the one who brought the laughs just a while back. It's not your typical snub story, it's a comedy of errors that gives us a peek into the lighter side of Kelsey's life beyond the football field. Imagine being so cool that even the bouncer at SNL can't recognize you. That's Travis Kelsey for you. This whole ordeal becomes a testament to the camaraderie between Kelsey and the SNL crew. It's not just about football, it's about laughs, mix-ups, and Punky Johnson coming to the rescue. Who knew an after-party snub could turn into such a hilarious tale? Travis Kelsey, the man of the hour, on and off the SNL stage.
I mean, I just, I'm a loving guy. I, I give every single one of these girls a chance. I mean, I was, yeah. I mean, I, I'd be silly to say that I didn't notice it go up. Um, I think the Super Bowl helped that, and obviously. Part of the Jason Kelsey charm. I want to make my best first impression. Apparently, there are like 250 fans out there. I'm going to go out and say hi, and I don't know what else. Probably just try, just out. Got a lot of people that care about Taylor, and uh, for good reason. So it's, um, you know, just, uh, just got to keep living and learning. Jason Kelsey's shirtless celebration. Get this. Jason Kelsey, the brother of Chief Superstar Travis, steals the spotlight with a celebration that's straight out of a movie. We're talking about the Chiefs Bills playoff game, and Jason decides to go all out. And by all out, I mean shirtless and full of energy. The game is intense, emotions are running high, and then out of nowhere, Jason Kelsey rips off his shirt, triumphantly shouts from the luxury box, and to top it off, bounds a beer before taking a leap into the crowd below. I mean, talk about making an entrance. This guy knows how to turn a football game into a full-blown party. Now the juicy part. Jason spills the deets on the New Heights podcast. He breaks down the whole thing, from the spontaneous decision to the aftermath. Oh, and did I mention his wife's not exactly thrilled about the impromptu strip show? Yep, she tried to talk him out of it, gave him the whole don't you dare spiel, but our man Jason is on a celebration mission. Here's where it gets even more interesting. Taylor Swift, Travis's girlfriend, reportedly loves it. I mean, how cool is that? You've got Jason going wild, the wife shaking her head, and then there's Taylor, probably cheering him on like, you do you, Jason. It adds this fun dynamic to the Kelsey family, a mix of exuberance, disapproval, and unconditional support. It's not just a celebration, it's a headline-making shirtless extravaganza that showcases the Kelsey family's knack for turning any moment into a party. Jason Kelsey, not just a football guy, but a shirtless showstopper that even Taylor Swift can't resist applauding. The Kelsey family, where celebrations go beyond touchdowns and into the realm of legendary antics. Cheers to the Kelsey way of making football unforgettable. How I live my, my off-field life uh, definitely helps helps out, but um, uh, yeah. Rumors that you're dating, is this yeah. just something that you deal with whenever you're hanging out with a guy? Or we're not dating, <laughs> we're friends. And this, this entire like lover phase of my life, there's been no distraction from the music. Nobody does anything crazy to get my attention. Come on, Taylor. <laughs> really? Private engagement. Hold on to your hats, because we've got the scoop of the century. Picture this, New Year's Eve. The world is counting down, and in the midst of the celebration, lovebirds Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey decide to take things up a notch. They get engaged. Yeah. You heard that right. A midnight proposal that sets the tone for an unforgettable year. And here's where it gets all hush-hush and mysterious. The De Moi podcast spills the beans. A trusted source reveals that while the clock struck midnight, Taylor and Travis said yes to forever. It's like a Hollywood script, but in real life. But here's the twist. They decide to keep it on the down low. Why, you ask? Well, it's not about playing hard to get. It's about being practical. These two are deep in love, but they're also knee-deep in busy schedules. There's a method to the madness. They don't want to steal the thunder from other significant events, like the playoffs and Taylor's ongoing tour. Smart move, right? Now the real-life romance drama unfolds in public gestures. Kelsey, during a Chiefs game, blows a kiss to the VIP box where Taylor and his family are cheering him on. Not just that, he forms a love heart gesture, screaming commitment without saying a word. It's like they're giving us a peek into their world without officially confirming the engagement. So here we are riding the waves of rumors, whispers, and love gestures. The world might be speculating, but Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey are playing it cool. They're not rushing into the spotlight, they're savoring the moment and keeping the engagement as their little secret for now. It's a love story with all the elements, secrecy, commitment, and a dash of public intrigue. As the rumor mill keeps churning, one thing's for sure. Taylor and Travis are on a journey, and they're making every moment count, engagement ring or not. 
Cheers to the couple who knows how to keep us all guessing. From the, from the get-go, we knew this is going to be very, very wonderfully weird, and I'm so happy to have been a part of it. Um, I plan on doing something. Uh, haven't figured out where we'll be yet. Uh, okay. The latest status. Oh, we um, spice it up. Um, the latest status is I got to see her last week. The line says, with every guitar string scar on my hand, I take this magnetic force of a man to be my lover. When it's time, we'll do it. You guys. 1989 sounds exactly like Taylor Swift, even when it sounds like nothing she's ever tried before. Kelsey's PDA. The Chiefs are out there winning games, and Kelsey is not just scoring touchdowns, he's also scoring some major PDA points. In the midst of all the victory craziness, he's blowing kisses and forming heart shapes toward the VIP box, where Taylor and the Kelsey family are cheering him on. It's not just a touchdown celebration, it's a love fest on the field. But what's even cooler is how they handle the ongoing rumors. They're not letting the gossip distract them. Nope. Instead, they're like, we've got a Super Bowl to focus on, people. Their primary goal is securing that spot in the Super Bowl, a touchdown of a different kind, you could say. Amidst the swirling rumors, they're locked in on the game, making moves on the field and off. It's not just about the touchdowns, it's about the journey they're on together. While the world speculates, Kelsey and Swift are navigating their relationship with a winning game plan telling me to be on my best behavior because we were meeting Taylor. So she's like, do not this is be hilarious. on your best behavior. Nobody can, you know, make, make laugh at me more than me. And I promise you that. You Instagram stalked her and then she DM'd you. That's exactly what Very happened. Very strategic. Yeah. No men allowed. Men get me in trouble. I don't I gotta tell you, Nancy, trouble with a capital T, right? Yes. Do you get frustrated with that kind of stuff or are you just kind of used to it? It's just like, oh, well, that was going to happen. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.